Hi, thanks for tuning in. The topic for this video is going to be my top four favorite powder foundations. I'll likely do another video for liquid formulas, so in the meantime, I hope you check out the top four um, powders that vary in price range and also vary in its coverage. So the first powder I want to talk to you about is the Chanel Universal Compact Powder. It's light coverage, but it's a high-end compact, so I do stress that it is a lot more expensive than drugstore brands. So I really like that it provides a really light coverage, as it's a very fine milled powder. So if you check it out, it's really silky in texture, and also uh, provides kind of like a translucent powder. So um, coverage, so it's really great for touch-ups um, over liquid foundation, or for if you don't need... Um, much coverage, so if you have really great skin, it's just nice to um, kind of get rid of the shiny skin. And it also feels really silky because it's so finely milled, and it's uh, really great because it um, feels like a loose powder without the mess on your skin. I really love this one. I'm using a 70 in beige, and 70 beige, so it does have a huge a uh, range of colors so it, you will find something that matches your skin type and also because it is such a light powder that it's uh, easier to find a shade match. So the next product I really love is the Chorus Powder Foundation and also the powder compact itself is really cute. It comes in a little brick. It's nice and um, it has a um, I'd say a medium coverage so the color I used was WRP3 and the color selection is not so wide, so it's a little bit difficult for people who have darker skin tones. So I wouldn't really recommend this um, if you're looking for shades. But it has really good coverage, and um, the sponge they provide also helps you um, apply a medium coverage. Because it is a foundation sponge, so the texture of it is um, allows for quick and easy touch-ups and foundation on the go. So if you uh, kind of are always doing makeup on the go, then I'd recommend something like this because it does give you the coverage you um, desire. And also has a kind of floral scent to it, which is not really great, but I just love the texture of this powder. It feels kind of creamy versus powdery. And um, I've tried a lot of different products and this is um, definitely something I really enjoyed because the color is good and the texture is is really high end. You can it feels like a very luminous feeling on your skin and it's not very heavy even though it gives you the coverage you like. So, um, the next powder is Mac Studio Fix. I really can't talk about powder foundations without mentioning this one and I've gone through so many packs of these compacts, you know, in my 22 years. The color I'm using right now is the C3 and it's heavy to medium coverage. If you use a sponge, then you'll get heavier coverage, and if you use a brush, you get a lighter dusting. And um, I love that there's just so many t um, shades, and I love that the results I get every single time is flawless. Um, but I can stress that this is a, a heavier powder foundation that I wouldn't recommend for touch-ups, um, as it can get really cakey if you apply too much. So just use wearing sparingly. Um, the last product um, foundation that I really love is the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. This color that I'm using is the Medium Beige. You can also mix and match, but I was really fortunate to find that the Medium Beige matches me uh, dead on without mixing. Um, this one is one of my favorite mineral powder foundations, and I've tried a huge range of them. And I recommend this one because it leaves the skin... Um, silky and kind of uh, glowing versus a, a matte finish. This one always kind of, um, you only need a little bit of it so that it does last a long time. You only sprinkle a little bit of it onto the lid and with a kapuki brush work it into your skin. And it also has SPF 15 so it is better for your skin than some other foundations. And I really like using this in the summer because it does give you a glow and it um, doesn't feel cakey or heavy on your skin. It also comes in different formulas, and this one is another travel formula of the Bare Minerals Powder. It's their SPF, 5, SPF 30 Loose Powder. I really love this one. I use this all summer, and this one is brand new. I love it, though. And it provides you with 30 SPF 30, and also it gives you really light coverage, and it's actually just... The powder itself is built into the bottom. You know, you twist it up so it activates it. And then you just brush it in as you would with uh, the regular powder brush, powder and brush. 
and it just comes in so many different formats. I really love that this is a powder that you can throw it into your purse and it's really handy. And it provides light to medium coverage depending on how you apply it. Um, if you use, for example, this travel size one, then you'll usually get a light coverage. If you dip a uh, concealer brush into this, you can get heavier coverage where you need it. So it's one of those products that's really versatile and I'm, I'm all about something that's easy and, um, and breezy, you know? So I guess those are my top four favorite powder foundations and I'm open to recommendations. And what should I try next? And I hope you enjoyed the recommendations I had for you. Thanks.